images on the page and today today I'm gonna come um, I'm gonna talk about my May TBR so I did TBRs kind of a while ago and then I stopped doing them but I really like doing them even though I don't always follow my TBRs I just think it's a great way to find new books and to get interested in things and as I've said before, I'm very much a mood reader, so I'll read maybe one of the books on my TBR and it'll lead me down this path, and I'll read those books and I'm totally okay with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Some of these books, the first three I'm gonna talk about, I have already talked about in my Asian readathon TBR, so I'm not gonna really go in depth of, in them, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you those. First one being I Hear the Sunspot, it is a manga. And it looks, <clears throat> I've just started it already, and it is freaking adorable. And if you want to know more about this, go check out my Asian Readathon TBR, which I'll link in the eye above. The next one, also for the Asian Read uh, Readathon TBR, is the, the Tiger's Daughter. This has been on my TBR for a ridiculously long time for how excited I am about it. Um, basically, what I said in the Asian TBR, and what I'll say here in every other video it comes in, is I don't really know anything about this besides the fact that it has an Asian inspired main character and it's there's a queer romance in it. Then the last one that I planned for the Asian TBR, Asian Readathon TBR, is The Timekeeper. This is like a steampunky adorableness. Also has a queer romance in it. Noticing a theme. Um, but so we and all three of those, if you want to know more about the synopsis is in depth, go check out my Asian Readathon TBR. Now for the books for, for the rest of the month, I actually forgot I was going to do two readathons in the month of May. There is Bookamon Badgeathon going on, um, created by Tome Infinity, which I'll link all the stuff down below. You get sorted into like the three Pokemon teams, Team Mystic, Team Valor, and Team Instinct, and you read books in certain categories to try to get badges. I forgot I was doing this, so I didn't plan any books for any of these badges, but we'll see if any of them fall into them. So let's hope. First one I wanted to read is, um, it's called Kim Reaper. So this sounds like a really adorable, just graphic novel about this girl whose part-time job is as a Grim Reaper, so ferreting souls to the afterlife, and this other, um, who's in, who's in school, so in university, and then this other college student has a major crush on her and knows nothing, of course, about her being a Grim Reaper. And it just sounds really adorable and fantastic, and I kind of like the colors, how it's dark and yet fluffy. I don't know how else to describe it. I actually found out about this book from someone on Instagram. Her Instagram handle is queer. It is queer brainian comics. She is a librarian, and her Instagram is um, mostly focused on queer comics. So that is really awesome. I would definitely recommend checking her out. There's some really awesome. Um, ones on there, ones I had no idea about, and I would definitely be keeping an eye on that in the future because I love graphic novels and I love queer characters. The next book I hope it to get finished in the month of May is called um, Super Powers, Super Powers Year One by Drew Hayes. I'm actually listening to it on audiobook, which is why I don't have the physical copy. I have been reading a lot of Drew Hayes. This is actually the I actually read one of the books that is a spinoff from the series, and my friend who recommended it. So I definitely needed to read it, and I'm reading it, and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm obsessed. Totally obsessed. So I'll probably finish that this month and hoping to move on to year two. The only crazy thing is these get longer. Like, the fourth book is 60 hours long on audiobook. So I don't, I mean, I do not anticipate getting further than the second book in the month of May, but hopefully I'll have a review for the, you for the first one soon because more people need to know about it. I'm also going to try to get to one of um, the arcs I got. I, there was like this event on Twitter where indie authors could kind of send out versions of their book for reading, for review, and that was like a couple months ago and I haven't read any of them. 
and I feel really awful because I did I am I did ask for I mean there wasn't a date on them so it makes me feel a bit better but I did get this with the intention of reviewing it and letting the author know what I thought and whatnot um so that is the one I'm doing called hello world so hello world is by Tiffany Rose and it seems kind of be um a sci-fi book it's kind of hard to tell I don't know if it's actually set in the future but it follows this character named Scott who is a hijacker and he's decided to hijack like one of the biggest companies in the world and he gets in way more he gets way further in than he intended because he it's like a company that does people who sign up with this company get like extra things but they get way more than they bargain for and he finds out that there's human trafficking and stuff like that and it just sounded really interesting Although I'm not always a big sci-fi person, so we will see, but I hope to get to that this month. And the last book on my TBR, um, planned on my TBR, is Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. I read Six of Crows about two months ago. I had started Crooked Kingdom, and then my hold at the library came up, which it's about to do soon again, and I had to wait for it to come back. So hopefully I can get that finished before my it is due back at my library. I also have that as a um, ebook, which is why I don't have the physical copy. And I really loved Six of Crows, so I'm hoping I'm going to enjoy Crooked Kingdom just as much. Well, those are the books I plan to read in the month of May. I probably will either read more or different ones than is on my TBR, but we'll see. If you guys do TBRs, what are some of the books that you're planning on doing? Are you guys doing any readathons? Have you forgotten you're doing any readathons? If so, please let me know down in the comments or just stop by and s stick an emoji in the comments. Love to know you guys are here. Well, until the next video, ta-ta for now.